Hey guys, welcome to my channel and episode 2. If you're here, you probably have some unsolved jump rope questions. This video I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about jump rope if you're a beginner. So let's get straight to the point. Point 1. Type of rope. If you're a beginner, you're probably wondering which is the best type of rope to start with. Here's what I'm gonna tell you from my experience. There are many different types of ropes, but the most common are wire, beaded, PVC and heavy rope. The wire rope is a light and really fast rope that is made for multiples and intensive workouts. The heavy rope is really good for upper body workout and core strength. The PVC ropes are actually speed ropes that are faster than beaded ropes and are made for intense workout as well and fast footwork. And this is actually the most used rope from boxers. Last but not least we have the beaded rope. They are quite good for changing direction when you do fancy tricks like releases and they are a bit heavier than a PVC rope. So if you are a beginner I would recommend to start with either a PVC or a beaded rope. Wire ropes are super light and fast and they don't give a nice feedback where the rope is. You cannot maintain the same flow for so long and you trip a lot. On the other side, the heavy rope probably gives the nicest feedback of them all, but it's a heavy rope. And if you're just starting with skipping, your upper body won't be able to maintain enough the weight and after 60, 70 skips, you'll be burned. So that's all for rope types. Let's get to point two and that's rope length. Oh, there you are. All right, as a beginner, it's quite hard to follow all the rules, like making the connection with the brain and the body, doing the whole coordination thing and keeping the elbows near the body. So I'm not gonna confuse you with these things. I'm, I'm just gonna tell you this. Take the rope, step on it with one foot, pull up the rope and let the end of the handles reach your lower chest like this. That's gonna be perfect for every trick and whatever you do, you're gonna be satisfied with it. When time passes by and you get used to doing the whole technique perfectly, you see by yourself what length best fits for you. Point three, hands near the body and jump rope technique. So, number three, rope technique. Throw the rope away and listen to me. Keep your hands near the body, shoulders and elbows relaxed, the elbows probably a bit, a, bit, a bit behind the back. And remember, the rope tension comes from a light up and down movement from the elbows and the wrist. You should be holding the rope like this. At the end of the handles with probably three or four fingers. Keep, keep in mind, if you're holding like this, you will be able to relocate the direction of the rope way easier and tricks like crosses and side swing would be a way easier as well. One more thing that got me really confused when I started. The handles shouldn't point on the side when you're jumping. You should really relax, let the wrist go with the rope and do a full circle and point forward, like this. Last step, we're almost ready to go. Jump only on the bouts of your feet, like this. Do not kick back, do not jump on full feet, do not raise your knees. I'm getting exhausted. As I said, jump only on the bouts of your feet and slightly bend the knees to absorb the shock. Like this. One more thing, if you still don't have a rope, just check down the description below. I'm gonna post the best beginner package and the rope that I use that gives me the best performance for my workout and as well a beaded freestyle rope in the package. You can use Diane 10 for 10% discount and if you like that video just subscribe, click the bell button and give me a thumbs up.